Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blues City Music. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we're continuing today with our guitar amplification 101 class, and we're going to start looking at the Splawn amplification amps. And the one I'm looking at over here on my left is their flagship amp, and that is the Splawn Quick Ride. This amp is a 100 watt amp using EL34s, and it's a two channel amp. Now, with that, you've got a couple of variations. You can run this thing in pento triode, and you're going to end up getting 100 watts to 50 watts. And by using pento triode, you don't have to worry about changing the impedance of your speaker cabinet. You've, you've also got two independent channels, and you have your option of either EL34s or EL34Bs would be your... Uh, option for that. And we'll talk about that briefly as we start with our controls and indications and taking a good closer look at this amp. This amp is going to give you probably one of the best Marshall-esque style uh, tones that you can get for an amp that's right around the $2,000 mark. This is all handmade in Charlotte, North Carolina. He's actually in Dallas, which is a suburb, but right outside of Charlotte, Scott Splawn, great guy. And he's got a lot of players out there. Both of his Facebooks are full. So he's getting a lot of reputation out there. It's a great build. So what we're going to do is break this down, take a look at it a little bit closer, and let you see the controls and indications on the Splawn Amplification Quick Rod. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the front panel of the Splawn Amplification Quick Rod. This is going to be Scott's Legacy Flagship Amp. Starting over here on the left side, your standard power on and off switch, your standby all and on switch, followed by a red jewel light. Then you're going to have the overdrive channel and the clean channel. Remember, this is a two-channel amp. Over here is your guitar input, standard quarter inch, nothing fancy. Now take a look at the, the clean channel here. Bass, treble, volume, and gain. Now some might say, well, what happened to the mid control? Why don't we have a mid on there? Not necessary. Scott's got this wired already for a really nice mid, uh, mid tones on this clean channel. No issue whatsoever with that. Not necessary. It's already hardwired. The cool thing about this is you've got a gain control on this one. The pre-2007 quick rods didn't have it. Scott put this on here, and this amp really took off when he did that. So that is going to allow you to add as much grit as you want. You can add a lot of it if you want to and make it sound like an early plexi or super lead for input, non-mastered amp, or you could back it off, run it closer back down to zero uh, to the lower numbers, and really clean it up. It's a really sparkling clean channel. Starting over here for the overdrive channel, you're going to have a mode control. Now, this particular mode control only affects the overdrive channel. And there's three gears from the bottom, gear one, gear two in the middle, and gear three. It's a rotary switch. Gear one is going to give you that early plexi, super lead tremolo style um, overdrive tones, okay? Gear two is going to be more JCM 800, and gear three is going to be a really hot JCM 800. So if you're playing a lot of modern stuff, and you really want a lot of saturation, you really want a lot of gain, then, then gear three is going to be for you. Now, you can actually, on the new four-button foot switch that Scott has out, you've got ability to go from gear one to gear two, or gear two to gear three. Okay, so you can actually make that foot switchable. I don't know too many guys that want to change gain structure in the middle of a song versus just using a boost control or rolling guitar volume, but it gives you that option if that's what you choose to do. So over here, you're going to see you've got a gain control and another volume. And then you're going to have your standard bass, mid, treble, and presence control, just like you would on most of your Marshall-style amps. And then in here, you're going to have a solo boost. Now, the one thing about the solo boost is you can add that for your, your leads if that's what you want to use it for. And there's a button on the 
actual foot switch on the three button or the four button that's got a solo boost. And it's already going to be set right here. So whatever you set here and you push on the foot switch, it's going to give you that extra boost, okay? The foot switch is also going to have overdrive one and two. It's going to have changing channels between clean and overdrive. And then uh, and the fourth button is going to be going from gear one to gear two or gear two to gear three, okay? The older ones come with a three-button foot switch, and the newer ones come with a four-button foot switch. So this is going to be the front chassis of the Splawn Quick Rod. Remember, this amp comes in either EL34s or EL34Bs. Those are going to be very similar to a KT77. Uh, Scott's a product of the 80s, so he really likes a little bit more saturation and a little bit more um, bottom end, a little bit more gain uh, than I care for. I'm a product of the 70s, so I'm, I'm more of a plexi-type tone. But either way, this amp can handle it. Uh, I like the EL34s, and that's what's in this amp right here. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you're going to have uh, 12AX7s and and a solid state rectifier. So bottom line, guys, if you're looking for really good two-channel Marshall-style amp, this is definitely where you want to go. So I'm going to turn this amp around, let you see the rear chassis that uh, has got some interesting uh, components to let you uh, know about that. Stand by. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the rear chassis of this blonde quick rod. If you t take a look over here on the left side, you're going to see where you've got it a quarter inch input A and a quarter inch input B. And that's gonna be for the foot switch. So just match up the lettering on each individual quarter inch on the uh, pedal and plug it into the corresponding A or B and you're good to go. Going over on this far right side, you're gonna have your fuses, okay? And Scott's likes slow blow fuses like a lot of manufacturers. Uh, Mike Soldano really does not. He would much rather go fast blow, but Scott, Diamond, a lot of manufacturers decide to go to slow blow. Any 250 volt AGC slow blow fuse that you get from uh, Radio Shack, FYE, Best Buy, any of that stuff's going to work out for you fine, okay? You've got a removable power cord over here, okay? IEC. And then you've got a selector right here, and you can just use um, a nickel and spin this around if you need to. 110, 220, 230. So US is going to be 110. It's actually 117 volts AC, 60 hertz. And that's what you would use for that. So we will leave it in 110. Now you've got a impedance selector between 4, 8, and 16 on this chicken head knob here. Two speaker outs. And then you've got either a full power or a half power switch. Now, Scott uses a Pinto triode half power switch. So what that does is that means regardless of where your impedance selector is set, regardless of whether it's a 4, 8, or 16 ohm load that you're running based on the combination of cabinet and or cabinets, there's no need to change that in Pinto triode. Just switch it from full power to half power, and you're good to go. Now, the amp's probably going to feel the love if you put it in standby. It's not going to hurt. It, it, the amp would probably appreciate if you would did that. So half power to full power. Now, what is that going to do differently? You're not going to see 50% drop in output. It's not linear. You're only talking about three decibel difference. So that would really equate to maybe one number knob difference on the master volume. So if you're too loud at four, and you go to half power, it would effectively be back around like three, but it's gonna give you a little bit more uh, vintage type tone by doing that, and some guys really like that. Now, this is an earlier amp, uh, about a 2008 that I have in the studio here, and what you don't see up here is gonna be the effects loop volume control, okay? All, not 2012 and forward, Splawn Quick Rods, all of his products, have the capability of an effects loop volume control. And what that's going to do is it's going to be a chicken hot head knob over here. As long as you have, with this right here, the effects loop active 
versus bypassed, okay? And it'll tell you right here, out for active, push it in for bypass. As long as you have this taken care of, then it makes this volume control active, okay? So just read the script back here. It tells you what to do. You can't possibly make a mistake with that. Keep the loop engaged active. And then what you could do with this knob is run it wide open to the 12 o'clock, not 12 o'clock, but wide open count, uh, clockwise. Wide open clockwise. And when you do that, it's going to be really loud. But then you can go in and get the tones you want out of each one of your channels. And when you get that tone that you want, gain structure, EQ, presence control, then you could come back here on this effects loop volume control and back it down and it'll play, it'll be like a an overall global master. You're just bringing down the output of the output transformer is what you're doing. So use it sparingly. Going halfway is not going to be 50%. So if you really wanted to bring the overall power down on this, you could take this selector, put it in half power, and then you could back down on this. So that's the way I would handle it first. I would run this thing wide open and half power if it was still too loud for you in full power. And then if it's too much, then you can play with the effects loop volume control. See which way you like it better, whether you like it 100 watts or whether you like it 50 watts, and you'll find your tone. It's also got a 10 dB boost over here. Uh, so what that means is when it's out for, on this level control right here, then it's going to be up to plus 4 dB. Well, if you're running effects level pedals, which are minus 10 to minus 20 dB, not plus 4 dB studio grade, then you push this pad in right here, and it brings up your effects level pedals to line level, and you won't, you won't see any noticeable drop in volume at all when you step on them and engage those individual pedals, okay? Some guys may have run into that on a, on a line level loop, and that's what the reason is, okay? So this is going to be the rear of the Splawn Quick Rod. You've got a lot of capabilities back here, a lot of bang for the buck. So we're going to turn the amp back around and uh, cover the, uh, the, the remaining information on this amp. Guys, this is the Splawn Amplification Quick Rod. 100 watt, half power switch. Three gears on the overdrive channel, two channels, EL34s, EL34Bs, great effects loop, 10 dB pad, effects loop volume control, and three options on the gain channel, the overdrive channel, gear one, gear two, gear three. It's a fabulous amp, handmade in Dallas, North Carolina, right outside of Charlotte. Give us a call at Blues City Music, 901-485-8250. Catch us on the web at www.bluescitymusic.com, Facebook or Twitter, Blues City Music, or you could also send me a text, and I'll get back to you much quicker that way if you can't catch me on the, on the telephone in case I'm international. Thanks for coming by. If you have any questions, give us a call.